at, well, you're assuming that there is a satisfaction. Well, I guess there is a satisfaction. Uh, one cannot deny any award, any recognition in some measure, so to speak, tickles your ego, <laughs> gives you a sense of maybe a purpose, got some form of gratification, but on the other hand, nothing really changes. Life goes on, um, the same as it has always been. Um, usually, uh, the the color and the uh, dramatic dramatic impact and the architecture will come ahead of uh, details connected with uh, other aspects of, be it melody, harmony, or rhythm. Although these, I I cannot describe, I cannot precisely describe. These are born simultaneously and they cannot function without one another. I cannot think in an abstract term about melody without hearing the color of that melody, or um, the melody is dependent on the rhythm and ultimately fulfills some kind of drama dramatic purpose within uh, the uh, composition. So um, it all happens simultaneously. Currently, I have a big work for chorus and orchestra that I'll be actually writing probably a couple of years from now. In the interim, I will be writing a work for string orchestra, and uh, the project I'm actually involved in is a large cello concerto, and I have just finished a trumpet concerto. So, let's say at various times, I will be thinking about how to polish my trumpet concerto because it still hasn't been premiered. Uh, some other times I'll be thinking uh, and shaping uh, my cello concerto. Uh, at some other time I might be already making some kind of decisions on my string orchestra work and at the same time I'm already planning uh, the next work. So as you can see there are several works sort of happening at the same time and they're at various stages. It's more of a reflective art, and you have to be ready for it. You have to have certain experiences upon which to reflect. And so I'm not surprised when I, when I see so many gray-haired people in concert halls. And uh, it seems to me that I've heard the same complaints about uh, audiences 20 years ago and 30 years ago. Obviously, these are not the same gray-haired people. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> They are still there, and that tells me that at a certain age, people reach the point where they are maybe um, more prepared to to allow themselves to um, sink into their inner thoughts and somehow relive and maybe get courage to go on or maybe remember certain things, or maybe simply ultimately uh, get in touch with themselves and feel better about themselves and everything else that everything that surrounds them. Um, obviously, I hope to write much more. Maybe at some point I will. Uh, write an opera again, uh, although large works, every one of these large works I know will take so much time and so much of so much effort, so much of my health, so much it's like a chunk of me taken away from me with every composition. I cannot plan farther ahead and certainly I would like to uh, enjoy life at the same time. I cannot be living just in seclusion and right, so I have to pace myself, I have to um, 
teach at the same time, although I don't do as much teaching maybe as I used to. But still, I do need to be on the receiving end at the same time. 